With little or no warning, disasters or emergencies happen. A local government's ability to respond effectively can be quickly overwhelmed. To assist with these situations, local groups of trained citizens are organized throughout Utah to administer basic first aid, simple fire suppression, light search and rescue, and assist in the care of animals. Whether you are at home, at work, or out in your community, with training in CERT, Teen CERT, or CART, you can make a difference. CERT stands for Community Emergency Response Team. CERT is a national program that was developed to engage everyone in America in making their communities safer, more prepared, and more resilient when incidents occur. Prior to CERT, citizens placed themselves in danger while trying to help others in disasters. CERT provides the basic life safety skills necessary to safely assist others. These skills can be used to help your own family, assist in your workplace, and throughout your community. Some of the benefits of uh, the Community Emergency Response Team training is it promotes uh, a sense of community. People get to know one, uh, people in their communities a little bit better. Professional responders may not have a good idea. No one knows where you live better than you do. It enables businesses to recover more quickly. Uh, it helps them prepare, protect themselves, their employees, and in the event of a major uh, emergency, it helps them get back into working operation much quicker. There are many people who have, may have an access or functional need who think, I can't take the CERT training because I, you know, I have a mobility issue, I have, uh, I'm sight impaired, I'm hearing impaired, um, but that's not true. There are many things that people, even with access or functional needs, uh, can do on a CERT team. The skills that uh, someone will learn taking the CERT program will benefit you know, them as individuals and their families, even if they don't want to get officially get involved with uh, a CERT team. Ideally, we would like people to get involved with CERT teams uh, in their community. If, you, if your community doesn't have a CERT team already, uh, we would try to encourage you to, to start one of those. And if you need assistance in doing that, uh, your local emergency manager or CERT program coordinator can, can help you with that. There are many non-emergency roles that CERT teams can play also. There are community events such as parades, fairs, marathons. CERT teams can man first aid booths. They can man information booths. They can help with crowd control. So the, the number of ways that uh, CERT teams can help a community is, is fairly unlimited. While emergency services personnel are the best trained and equipped to handle emergencies, they may not be immediately available in a catastrophic disaster. In such a situation, members of the community may be on their own for several days or longer. They may have to rely on their own resources for food, water, first aid, and shelter. And neighbors or co-workers may have to provide immediate assistance to those who are hurt or need other help. CERT members are trained to respond in the period immediately after a disaster, when response resources are overwhelmed or delayed. In the Salt Lake Valley at any given time, uh, during the week. There's a few hundred firefighters full-time that are on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Well, those few hundred firefighters are gonna get overwhelmed if we have a major emergency. So we're gonna turn to those volunteers to, to help us because we're gonna be instantaneously overrun with calls. Those few hundred firefighters aren't gonna be able to go to every single call that comes in. One of the volunteer efforts that we're gonna use in particular is called the CERT, the Community Emergency Response Teams. So those neighborhood CERT teams are gonna become invaluable for us. CERT members go through eight training units, which teach the basics of personal preparedness and response. The units focus on emergency preparedness, fire safety, medical triage, disaster first aid, light search and rescue, CERT organization, disaster psychology, and terrorism awareness. Well, I learned about CERT through um, working for Harriman City. They wanted to get their CERT program grow growing and going. I think we have right now over 450 CERT volunteer people in our community. Every six months, we have a drill with our CERT members. We have the block captains meet and the area leaders meet and we wanted each area leader to get their block captains ready with their 72 hour kits and get their um, families ready so that they, will, they would all be able to use their 72 hour kits in the drill that we had. We have business people, we have family, family members, 
We have nurses, doctors, we just have a different variety of all kinds of people that want to help. The goal of CERT is to do the greatest good for the greatest number of people. In a disaster with many victims, time will be critical. CERT members will need to work quickly and efficiently to help as many victims as possible. CERT members will learn and practice treatment techniques and have the opportunity to practice what they learn during a simulated disaster drill at the end of the course. Everybody in the home should have some of this training available to them and understand how it works in an emergency. It's an eight-week course. Uh, Sandy City Fire Department uh, offered it and uh, we were able to uh, learn evacuation and uh, search and rescue, first aid, get us motivated and prepared to assist in our community. Through proper training, CERT members play a very important role in neighborhood and workplace fire and utility safety. CERT members can help in fire and utility related emergencies before professional responders arrive. CERT members may also assist in search and rescue operations. Previous disasters have shown well-intentioned, untrained individuals rush to the site of building collapses in an attempt to free the victims. More often than not, these spontaneous rescue efforts result in serious injuries and compounded problems. This is why CERT training is so essential. The CERT program itself has a multitude of, of training opportunities ranging from disaster medical operations to team organization, light search and rescue, fire suppression and safety. The importance of staying within that scope of training is so you're not going out and we don't have community volunteers trying to be firefighters or EMS personnel or police officers and putting other people's lives or their own lives at risk. Learning how to deal with small fires and utility problems is a, is a real vital part in the CERT program. We don't want people going around and shutting off everybody's gas just because there's an earthquake. Unless it's damaged, don't do it at that point in time until you're directed to. The biggest thing with CERT is we know that there's people in our community that are trained to care for themselves in the event of a disaster when the responders are overwhelmed or can't get to everybody at that point in time. Uh, it's a real vital part of community planning and, act, and emergency response planning. Following a major disaster, individuals, neighborhoods, and communities may be isolated without professional help for many days. Dealing with people for extended periods of time until outside help arrives is another important skill CERT members learn. I feel an obligation as a manager to my employees, tenants, and their guests to make sure that they're safe in case there is an emergency situation. CERT motivated myself and my employees to first uh, get an, a plan together for our families for emergency situations, and that enabled us to be able to move forward with taking care of business obligations and getting our businesses up and running and taking care of the community. I really encourage business owners and managers to take advantage of the CERT training so that you'll know what to do in case of an emergency. There are important roles for people of all backgrounds and capabilities. The only requirement to get started is your desire to help. When a disaster strikes, it will take all of us working together and helping each other. Will you be ready to assist your family, neighbors, pets, and other animals, and your community in an emergency? Yes, by joining your local CERT, Heart or Team Cert. Most people in a major disaster are not going to see a fire truck or an ambulance rolling up their street right after that incident. In fact, it may be hours to days and even as long as a week before they receive help from first responders or professional emergency services. During a major disaster or a large incident, there are people who are going to come out of the community and step up and say, I want to help. If you could learn something that would one day save the life of a loved one, a member of your family, a friend, a neighbor, or another person you care deeply about, what would that type of knowledge and training be worth to you on that day? This is why we have community emergency response team trainings, why we have teen CERT programs in our schools and our community, and why there are CART programs to help with our animals, our livestock, and especially with our pets that we love so dearly. This type of training truly is priceless. To obtain more information about CERT, teen CERT, and CART, Ask your local emergency manager or visit these websites.